it is time to pick a winner for a free hour of training. I have an access database and all of you are in it. I'm going to open up my random picker form and I'll just scoot the screen up a little bit so that you can see the whole form. These are all my subscribers. Thank you very much. The first two are eligible because they've already won. So now let me click on the pick a winner command button and congratulations the winner is RFT0415. You get a free hour of private training. Email me to set it up. It doesn't matter if you're not in the United States because we can use Skype to talk to each other as long as you speak English. <laughs> We can use the phone if you are in the country. I can connect to you or you can send me files and I will give you some pearls of wisdom. Some of you might be wondering how I did this. Let's go to the design view of this form and take a look. I have a subform that lists the subscriber number and the YouTube user for those of you that are subscribed to me. The name of this subform is subscriber underscore sub real original here is a label control and this I've called label winner because after I pick a winner and it gets somebody this is where that text went that you saw now in the sub form how did I do that formatting well I'm going to select the sub form I'm going to click on the YouTube user and look at the conditional formatting that's set up. If not is null date one, that means it's filled out, the background is a light green color. If the subscriber number equals subscriber number, which is this hidden control down here, the reason I made the form footer black is because I like to make things black background when I hide them. That way when I look at the design of a form, I know that that's not visible. Anyway, if the subscriber number that shows up here is equal to what's written here, then the YouTube user is going to be white text on a red background. Now, How did we generate the random number? Let's take a look at some code. The name of our command button is CMD Pick Winner. We are putting code on the click event. So when someone clicks on the button, this is the code that runs. The lines that are green are comments. Anything that is prefaced with a single quote mark is going to have the rest of whatever is on that line ignored. The first thing we want to do is dimension a variable to hold our random number. It's going to be an integer. We will just call it int subscriber number. Now we need to set the seed for the random number generator. We will do that with a command called randomize. Now we want to generate a number between 3 and 21. Now 21 minus 3 is 18. RND is actually what generates a random number. It generates it as a fraction. Something between 0 and 1. That's why we multiply by 18 and then add 3. Now that we have our random number, we need to find out who it goes to. So we are going to write int subscriber number, the random number that we just generated, to that hidden control subscriber number on the subform with me dot subscriber underscore sub dot form means we are going to use the sub form that's on me. Me is the form that this code is behind. Now we are going to find the record that matches that subscriber number. We're going to use the record set clone and then to find first action, give it a condition. We move to that record by setting the bookmark of the subform to the bookmark of the record set clone, which is what we just searched on. And now we will write a caption to the winner label, congratulations! And then two lines, VBCRLF, is a constant. 
Visual Basic Carriage Return Line Feed. Remember typewriters? <laughs> For those of you that ever used one, carriage return was when that big rolling thing moved back over to the left, and line feed was when the paper moved down, and we still hung on to that term. But this is the visual basic constant, basically, to go to the next line. And since I want to go down two lines, I'm going to tell it twice. We are constructing the caption. All the literal values are enclosed in quotes. Then we're concatenating in the user YouTube from the subform, from the record that we found. When we get to coding, I will describe things in more detail. This isn't really where I intended to start you with code, but since uh, some of you that are watching this already use VBA, and I thought you might like to know the code that went into the random number generator. Congratulations once again, RFT0415. Email me and we will set up some training.